Hello guys, good morning. So as you can see, we do have our PDAs here. So as you can see, um, this uh, this container is actually from our ref refrigerator, and and as you can see, also the new PDAs here are created this month because uh, the date today is. July 27 I think so it was created uh, 10 days ago and what I'm doing is replacing the old PDAs that I have here um, with the new ones so these are the old ones uh, some are just uh, two months ago or one month ago hmm. uh, these are from me and what we have is July so those um, PDAs that is last month I'm actually replaced them with the newer one from just to what you call this just to have a fresh start because as I have some fruits what I do is pick the best fruit are the best clusters that looks physically and why what I, what I do is to culture them but as you can see there are still uh, mushrooms that I'm still cloning which I don't have any uh, fruit yet and as for the yellow I was able to fruit a yellow recently and I do have some PDAs of them here but the the growth is not that good so what I'm going to do is to clone them to another PDA which I have here so they are sitting there for around three days already and what I'm going to do is to clone them to create a better looking uh, growth so probably I'm gonna do this every two months uh, Especially the ones those that doesn't have any clone on them are direct issue and I'm replacing this kind of container because to be honest I'm having a hard time getting the cultures inside of this so I would prefer just to stick with this so per variety I would like to store two but there are still some variety that I still only have one which I'm be cloning to create a better looking um, growth uh, also uh, these are my, my spawns and these are actually for cleanup so let me just let you see what's happening this one um, that doesn't have any uh, molds but it actually uh, have a bacteria inside so you'll be able to determine if your PDA has some bacterial issue when you actually open it up and smell what's the inside it smells sour or it doesn't smell good like a, a, a mycelia that should smell really nice and also this one if there's any speck of discoloration as you can see there's a dark spot at the center here so I don't use that so if there's any discoloration that uh, is not mushroom like so uh, for this if you can see it here let's just open it's really not advisable to open some uh, some PDAs that are possible contaminated but let's do this for this video so as you can see there looks good but on the right side as you can see there's a speck of I don't know if it's green or black but there's some discoloration so when I flip this upside down as you can see there's already a discoloration there so that's a bad indication so better clean it up and also this one 
possible. I don't know what kind of this. This might be a bacteria. And usually you're gonna notice your mycelium is having a hard time growing. Because there is either bacteria or molds that is present on it. As for this one, Mm. Oh, sorry. The growth is kind of wispy. And I'm having doubt using it since I do have some yellow um PD. So better just do it. On the other PDAs so if you do have doubts on your PDAs don't use it and just uh, make a cleaner plate so that you won't waste your time so I still do have some I not, not issues but from time to time I do have some contamination on my PDAs and it's really hard to to what you call this to prevent on my end I don't have any flow hood or what I'm just using this steel air box that I have I know th I know that you have seen it before so just have some holes in here so I'm using that and these are just PDEs that I've used to inoculate some greens last night mm, what else I think that's it so <laughs> the main thing that I just want to share is probably every two months or even three months you can replace your backup backup PDAs so that if uh, let's say there's a big contamination issues that you've recently had at least you have some clean plates to take some cultures as a backup. I'm sorry. <laughs> so that's it. Uh, it's always better to have some backup for your cultures. Well, you don't have to make two of them. One is okay, but well, it's no hurt adding another another one. So that's it. Um. For today or this week, I'm going to create more plates, especially on the yellow ones. We're going to transfer them on the clean plates that's been sitting there for three days. I usually use the PDAs after uh, four days to make sure that they are clean, there's no bacterial issues. So if this ones that's having some issues, it's my fault. And... Probably gonna happen from time to time but what you want is to have some clean plates so those are clean plates that you can see let me just show you one here so here see this is a black oyster that's really good So that's it. Thank you for tuning in and hopefully uh, you'll have a better idea how to secure your cultures on an economical way. So we don't have a good love or what, but we'll try to, to have our own culture. We don't have a big farm. We just have a few bags. Uh, currently, I'm taking care of around 100 bags and for the past months, I don't have any um, success yet on growing the brown and the gray. So um, the best choice that I have is to, clo to keep on cloning what I have. And still trying until I was I'll be able to grow uh, gray and brown mushroom 
oyster mushroom that I can clone uh, myself. So that's it. Thank you for tuning in and see you next update or anything that I would like to share with you guys. So if you do have some questions, suggestions, just put it on the comment below and I'll try to answer and reply to you as soon as I can. Thank you very much and bye-bye.